Hi, my name is Scott, and welcome to my channel. It is a uh, actually a Friday night, and earlier today I had to pick up a few items. Had a plumbing job to do at uh, one of our clients' house, and she needed a couple sinks put in. Well, let me show you what I ended up getting first thing this morning. I picked up a few items this morning, and uh, I've been wanting to try this rigid exchange faucet tool. And this is the components to come with it. I'll explain that here in a second. Then I picked up, also tried out the uh, one-stop wrench. Okay, I'll talk about this. And I had to pick up also a basin uh, wrench as well. I'll explain that one as well. All right, let's talk about this. Well, it originally comes pretty much like this together. Okay, that's simple. Already thing, but here's what the best part. Anybody knows how the sink, the, how the sink connects and everything, with a little plastic flange underneath it on the screws when the two sinks that come down, each one of the uh, the screws have it. Well, this will match up to that. Okay, they'll take them off and pull them. They'll take them off as well as put them on for you in the slotted grooves. And on this side is the tool set this is also well the older waddles were rounded and now they turned it into square all right on the back of this low page it tells you every little position this piece of equipment handles from here handles all this okay and then you go to a smaller one Number five, they're marked. It tells you what size that is. That is a 5 8 nut. Number two is a 15 16. And this right here is a number four, which is three quarter. This is the number one. Okay? It handles pretty much everything. All right, we'll go to this component. This is the lower end. Okay, the lower end, as you turn around the round end, holds those flanges that also puts up, holds the sinks to the uh, cabinet or to the countertop. And then this piece right here, which is what you got here, the top piece is actually for the sink. Everybody knows how the drain keeps popping out when you want to get it in there. This will keep, you slide this up. It'll steady the drain, so you screw the bolt from underneath and get that taken care of. It does have a wrench or a screwdriver set that you can put in there, as well as has a 5 8 bolt at the top. And if you also look at that little square, you can put a 3 8 drive in the center of it. It's not bad. This actually, I only had one complaint about this whole three-piece system. I had a drain line or a water line that had the old type connector with the big fans on it. Um, unfortunately, my channel locks could get what I needed, but I had one in a very, very tight place that could not even remotely get it out. So I had to go to this. It's called a basin wrench otherwise known as a crow's foot, as I call it. Granted, other people call it other things, but I've always known it to be a crow's foot because of the black and due to the fact it tilts either right or left side. And you can open her up. Just like that. And it goes around the older style. So, what I changed out today, I used the newer models, faucet lines, and with a 3 8 um, bolt at the top, and the uh, compression at the end which made this a lot easier over here to work now this right here is a two-part wrench and I had actually used it today both on the lines and by what the picture showed me which was interesting on the top half of this right here it has two numbers 9 16 let it focus sorry and a 15 16 the 15 16 is the big spark 9 sixteenths is the little one, okay? I had to use the back of that, um, the turnoff valve, and hold it steady while I use this. 
we call it a gas line, but actually for plumbing is a compression line. It actually slides down under the compressor, um, and it works quite well. That's the one at the end where you have the knob at the turns, and you have the little bitty line that goes up, and you got the little bitty nut on the side. And if I'm not mistaken, I really don't know what size that is, wrench. I know that I actually had to do that today. It was fun. And this thing is like a 5 8 and I'm not sure. It doesn't stay on the on the ratchet. I just know where it goes. And off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you without doing a little bit of research to it. But it works. I have gas lines and, and hydraulic line wrenches, and they do fit on it as well. So I used that today, and I had quite well of a good experience with both these equipments. And since this has a little hole in it. And granted, I am doing it one-handed. Hey, Fluff. They actually screw in together. So it gives you a little bit more leverage. Either way. Gives you a little bit more. Other than that, and using that today, I put in two sinks, and I use... Uh, plumber's putty to do instead of silicone or caulking for the under pieces for the faucets so they stayed against the cabinet tops not a problem we changed out the old lines um, other than that only the, like I said the only complaint I had for an all multi-purpose tool it just didn't do one piece rest of it all day um, the older style I don't know I'm not familiar with it, it on other videos it shows that's rounded it says squared. I don't know if that's just because in this area or that's the change in the manufacturer. But I've been wanting one to try one of these out. I didn't have one when I put in my faucets. I did have basin wrenches and I had uh, compression tools. Had all the other stuff I needed. But this one I've been curious about actually finding out if it's pretty good. Um, why the slit's right there? The slit is to allow the uh, water line to go in between. So whatever piece you put up on top, either way, or whatever component you put in there, the line can run down there to the center and you just screw it around. And that's it. You just screw it around. Not a problem. I liked it today. I wish it was more rounded instead of squared. It probably would have got in there better. The only problem I did have is, uh, like I said, I couldn't get off one little line. So other than that, it was a good tool. I enjoyed it. Um, I do recommend it. I recommend both if you plan to use it. It is something that uh, it's needed in our plumbing box. And like you said, like on the back of the picture, every little component works. That's it, man. It's not a bad thing. I recommend it again. Rigid has come up with a few things that are really awesome. Some things are not as great, but so far on this, I'm good. So should you be. All right, folks. Sorry I didn't actually film the thing, but uh, I was knee-deep in water and other stuff earlier. Thank you. Stay tuned. And before I leave this thing... I want to correct myself. The compression line is actually a 3 8 That's my mistake for not reading. And I didn't want you to turn around and putting on my YouTube channel saying, Bane, you make sure you got your glasses. Apparently, I didn't have them on at the time I was reading. All right, folks. Stay tuned. Thank you again for watching.